stable of uh, fuel required in fed fasting and starvation very very important high yielding table we will learn it here right now i need your focus i'll help you learn right now only later you just have to revise okay so there are three columns fed fasting and starvation okay three columns and we know that our sequence is carbohydrates then fats and then protein okay so i'm not writing proteins here but because there will be okay let, let's write proteins etc a uh, lot other things will be used okay so on this side uh, various organs are given so in our first column carbohydrate is the basic which we learned and here glucose is written at most of the places carbohydrates or glucose but one exception so first column of fed state one exception that heart uses fatty acid even in fed state fetal heart uses glucose in heart failure again it is glucose again the fuel is glucose fetal heart uses glucose as soon as birth occurs it is not fetus even if one day old child it will be fatty acid for heart only in fetus it is glucose then in heart failure it is glucose coming to second column second column fasting f for fasting f for fats easy to learn in fasting it is fats in fact f a for fasting f a for fats okay so most of the places fatty acid is given as the fuel but two exceptions first column one exception second column two exceptions so why brain cannot use fatty acid because fatty acid cannot cross blood brain barrier fatty acid cannot cross blood brain barrier why rbc is using glucose whether it is any situation rbc is using you glucose because rbc is not having mitochondria rbc not having mitochondria so note here that rbc is using glucose be it any situation fed fasting or starvation then starvation column the third column brain and heart vital organs they use ketone bodies very important vital organs ketone bodies are formed produced for vital organs heart and brain then liver liver is will be using amino acids so the basic sequence is only followed by liver huh? can you see the basic sequence is only followed by liver glucose fatty acid amino acid then muscle very very important for muscles frequently asked muscles can use fatty acid also ketone body also amino acid also so many things muscles can use muscles are very selfish huh? when we say give glucose to blood muscles will say no i will never give i will use glucose for myself and see in starvation also a muscle is using fatty acid also ketone body also amino acid also sab kuch mujhe de do mujhe sab kuch khana hai huh? so selfish foody <laughs> fatty acid is very long dear is uh, non polar also long chain fatty acid especially are non polar dr k uh so they will not be able to cross the blood brain barrier okay blood uh, sorry brain mainly relies on glucose you remember brain and rbc's rely on glucose a lot yeah liver is selfless dr aditya liver is selfless liver will give glucose lot of glucose to blood liver maintains blood glucose <laughs> so uh, nice dr nitya liver is mom <laughs> emotional okay let me continue now uh, it's not possible for me to read lot of doubts uh, right now later in the break maybe okay uh, then adipose tissue they have fat so they will be using fatty acid right this way uh, it is very easy to learn this table first column fed state one exception that is heart second column fasting fa for fasting fa for fats two exceptions brain uses glucose 
RBC uses glucose. Reason is different for brain. It is blood-brain barrier reason. For RBC, mitochondria not present. Starvation, uh, brain and heart, vital organs using ketone bodies. Muscle can use everything like fats, ketone bodies, amino acids. And RBC is still using glucose here. Thank you.